Hello everyone and welcome to the project of the week by Data Talks Club. Uh, so uh, we made this video to help you answer uh, the questions that you probably have about what is the project of the week, how to participate, and introduce you a bit about the yeah the topic that we're gonna learn together uh, this week, the data version control or DVC. So yeah, let's start with uh, what is the project of the week. So the motivation of this event came from the fact that we as uh, scientists or engineers from uh, the data or machine learning field, we often want to learn new tools or enrich our tool set. And uh, I see myself sometimes that I, uh, sometimes it works out, but I often do it alone or I don't have a structured way of doing it or I don't have somebody to account for. So to deal with these issues, uh, Data Docs Club has a special uh, channel on its Slack about it called the Project of the Week, uh, where you can join it. And uh, there we occasionally hold uh, events uh, that last a week. And every day uh, we post on that week uh, a set of uh, plan, a set of tasks uh, for, uh, that, uh, for uh, that day. And as we suggest some material to check out about uh, that topic. So here you can see an example about back in October where we have about Docker. And yeah, you can follow this plan or you can do it in your own way. The important is the learning group concept that we have on this uh, channel. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, you can post your uh, progress on cool findings or issues that you might have. Uh, we suggest you generally to create your own GitHub repository, work on with your own data and uh, progress every day a little bit um, until the end of the week. So it is important to understand uh, if this is not a live event. Um, we post uh, every day, like uh, offline, uh, in uh, the uh, via Slack, the progress, the host. So this week, I'm going to be your host and send you this progress that actually comes from uh, you can now go and check it out in the uh, data talks club github uh, specifically for the project of the week repo and here you can see for the upcoming week the dvc that we're gonna learn uh, day one day two and this continues until day seven and you can see the plan again you can follow it or you can do it in your own way but here you can see on day one that we suggest you to uh, create a github repository for example install dvc uh, check out the useful video that we found that uh, will help us. Um, so yeah, uh, go check it out. And if you have any question about, um, please send us on, on Slack and we will hopefully, hopefully help you. So yeah, uh, let's finish this uh, video with uh, what we're gonna learn this week. Um, so DVC stands for Data Version Control. And it is an open source tool that, um, it can do actually much more <laughs> than uh, uh, version your data. And hopefully by the end of the week, you can uh, see that yourself. It is actually one of the tools that does uh, that. Um, so yeah, let's see about uh, how DVC can help you and the concept of data version control. Uh, so yeah, it often happens that in your repository or uh, your project, you have initial set of data features and model. And later on, you, you, it's a very easy to understand that, yeah, you can uh, update it or you have, uh, when you update it, you're gonna have a new set of features or even models. And it's not easy to track that. So you have uh, reproducibility problems. You can go, maybe you might, didn't save the old model or the data that you trained your old model. So DVC helps you solve that with uh, the same concept that Git does. So you actually can commit your data features and models, uh, but not in a, but do, not in the same way that you want to think like actually save your data in in the actual repo, GitHub repository. We'll see that later. How how does that? But um, yeah, DVC helps you track that and create a hash or like a unique identifier of that moment that you have data features and models in the same way that Git does. So here, yeah, you can update your features and save that or later on adjust your input parameters and again, commit that and have a easy way to access or rollback. 
and uh, yeah, how DVC does this efficiently? Very quickly, let's see. So again, here you have maybe your typical project that you have your data, your code, some scripts, and your model that you trained. And the difference between those things are the size. So usually data and models are gonna be high size, they're gonna be megabyte or gigabyte, but scripts in code, yeah, it's usually kilobytes. And you would like uh, to save your data models usually in a storage, okay, S3, maybe on a cloud or somewhere else. And your scripts to the GitHub, because yeah, you cannot save the heavy models or data in your GitHub. So DBC does the tracking that we uh, saw uh, before uh, by creating a representation on uh, that data, on the particular data model that you have um, on a kind of a script, okay, on a kilobyte size. So here you can see the one for the data and the one for the model. So uh, DVC tracks that, and the same way you push your code, you can push on your repository your uh, data, and it can check if you have a new version of your data um, or model. And then again, uh, this would change this file as the same way as this. So it's, this script is basically a unique identifier. So if you didn't understand that, it's OK. That's why we have this uh, uh, event. Um, just understand a bit about the concept and how it useful can be to you. And uh, yeah, I just saw now actually, we just scratched the surface of uh, the data version control uh, concept. Actually, you can help you organize your ML workflow and uh, actually compare the commits or experiments that you did together. So again, by the end of the week, hopefully you will understand this uh, better and have a little bit of experience on that. And yeah. So to participate, you can register on uh, the, the, the Docs Club Slack, uh, join this uh, channel, uh, check out the GitHub that we have, and yeah, and let's learn together. And uh, please, if you have any questions, send, send us in the Slack. Bye-bye for now.